Hello everyone, welcome to Jenkins tutorial. So today we'll see the Jenkins backup section where we'll see how to backup the whole Jenkins and it's a very important pass, uh, part because uh, like someday your Jenkins may go down or you want to revert back to some uh, previous uh, stage uh, where your Jenkins is not working in the current stage and you want to revert it back to some working state. So in that case it is very very important to have a backup and a restore to a particular endpoint. So let's see how we can uh, do the backups uh, in several steps. So let's get started. So uh, let's go to manage Jenkins. Uh, so for letting you know like Jenkins also has a home directory where it stores all the uh, directories, files and all the configurations needed. So you can see that from the configure section here and we can see the uh, Jenkins home directory by, uh, by default is in your home location and it will be inside a dot Jenkins folder. Whereas uh, if you don't wish the to use the default uh, uh, location, you can change the Jenkins home directory. So for that, you need to set your Jenkins underscore home into etc profile or any other environment uh, variables. Where, uh, how, however, you want to set up the environment variables, you have different paths you can set up. Some one of them may be your home directory uh, bash profile or if you want to set it in your etc profile you can do that so let me go through this t zone blog where i can show you like how uh, you can do that so you can see uh, like uh, this is the environment variable jenkins underscore home which you need to set so for that you can uh, set it uh, actually in your etc default uh, uh, jenkins uh, directory path so there you can uh, define all the variables and the uh, variable which we need to change is Jenkins underscore home which you need to give to any directory you want to set up and once you do that and uh, restart and uh, when you or restart may not be required actually so you can just uh, echo and see if your variable works and if it is set to the correct location wherever you need so once that is done it will store all the uh, file components directories required uh, for it to uh, set up the Jenkins uh, location or the home directory then also you need to remember like it needs to have the permissions for the user so in this case they are using Jenkins so you can also set up with the same uh, your username and the group and provide the respective uh, required permissions so once that is done and uh, now in our case as we have at this location I'll just go here and show you the respective uh, file in directory so we are already at this location or if uh, okay so you can see there are a lot of xml files here and there are a lot of folders so the most important folder is uh, config.xml because this helps to load the whole ui of the jenkins and in case your ui is not working or somehow you forget the password or something gets corrupt you are not able to log into jenkins so this is the crucial file which will help you to uh, get all the login access and all the ui components back so you need to back up this whole location you can back it up uh, by setting a cron job or you can just simply if you know about the cloud and all so suppose in case of s3 you can uh, back up the whole uh, Jenkins directory to s3 and uh, maybe you can set, set up a cron job or uh, some kind of uh, job uh, in the batch uh, uh, which will be uh, having a backup every uh, according to your backup, backup policy so maybe in the midnight it will do a backup and store it in the S3 or any other storage of your choice in the cloud. So whenever you want, you can just get it from the cloud again. So another uh, way maybe you can just store it in your some other high drive, some other location where you want to uh, have your backup of the whole uh, Jenkins configuration. Uh, so and then other than that, like uh, some of the folders you can skip uh, so that uh, you uh, so that you can save a lot of space uh, while uh, storing backup so one of them is workspace so workspace you don't need it because anyways you have this from your uh, bitbucket git uh, repository or any source code so you can get it back anyhow when you do the uh, build and uh, deployment you will can, can get the workspace back so you can just ignore this workspace part to be copied rest all other files here you will need so again on your case to case you can uh, verify like what all things you need or don't need if you don't need the logs you can just skip that so similarly, all your uh, Jenkins configuration uh, can be uh, backed up from here. So this is the most important uh, Jenkins home underscore home is the most important location for the backup. 
now let's go to another thing uh, which you can do is uh, way number two which is you need to go to uh, manage jenkins and we'll just do it using plugins so just go to manage plugin in the available section just search for thin backup this is for backup okay so we can see here uh, this is the backup uh, you can do uh, this is the uh, latest release uh, part you can just uh, use this one or any other uh, plugins of your choice so we can go with this one or if you have some cloud provider you can also do from here so for, for now we'll just go with the thin backup and i'll install it without restart okay cool so it's done so i'll go to the manage jenkins again to see uh, what it has done so we can see like now we have another uh, option which will so like a thin backup so what you can do is you can just go here and you can uh, like uh, explore this section thin backup so here in the backup you need to uh, give your directory path so or maybe uh, you can give opt so okay so it also examines like this so it is not writable by our current user so maybe you can use where uh, just stem so this is just for demo demo so you can just give in the backup and uh, wherever the master is running it will do that and you can give the schedule or the cron expression for it to backup whenever you want uh, the backup job uh, to execute and again it is uh, like it will do the differential backup so uh, in a differential backup uh, what it does is it only uh, store completes files whose modification is done after the Full backup so once your full backup is done it will do some incremental backup so uh, that backup uh, you can again schedule it and maximum backup you can uh, set up so all these are uh, options you can explore like what all things you want and don't want to just uh, check up the box and just save it so once you do that it will uh, suppose you do it here and you want it to back up it will go and go ahead and uh, start the backup and again when you want to restore you can just uh, restore and whenever you want to restore you can just select your time uh, restore next builder so you can again explore these options so this is how you can do the backup using plugin so now another option which we are not covering in the tutorial is like once you uh, ideally uh, like most of uh, most of the project teams or most of the companies run their uh, ci cd server on the cloud uh, which may be amazon google Alibaba, Azure, etc. So there, uh, most of the times you are running it uh, in some uh, EC2 or container. So what you can do is you, are, uh, you can create a snapshot from your VM uh, EC2 uh, instance or uh, machine and uh, wherever it is running. And uh, when you create a snapshot, it will have all the things, whatever the configurations are there exactly. And uh, you can just restore from the snapshot. That's it from the backup part.